Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is like a little chit chat, get ready with me. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while and I actually wanted to do a story time. It's a long awaited, really juicy story time actually. And I'm like, why haven't I talked about this? A girl looks a little swollen. Does anybody else look swollen when they wake up? Because I feel like I look like a fat well every morning. I already have my brows drawn on and they look so stamped on. I need to kind of like fade it right around here. I just struggle a lot. I don't really have a lot of brows. So when I draw them on, I just go in and I do like the really bold brows. But this inner corner part, like I struggle so much right now. Oh my God, they look insane. I'm just gonna clean them up. This is always like what I do. So I'm gonna go with like foundation on the top. I usually start with the bottom. I don't know why I'm starting on top, but we're just gonna flow with it. And I'm gonna clean up because you see how like they look so bold and fat so I'm just gonna like clean it up from the top like that right there boom but anyways um yeah like I was saying I just wanted to like get ready with you guys and just like tell you guys a little story time I feel like I cannot do this talking <laughs> I got the top of my brows cleaned the foundation is like not even blend it out like it's literally just like patchy that will be taken care of after this is just like my way of doing my makeup I feel like everybody has their own ways and my way right now is just so weird I will look busted till my face is actually complete I'm taking my concealer this is a born this way and I use the color almond also I don't think I told you but for my brows I've been using the dark brown Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil this is the brow definer it's the one that's like thick you know, they have like two different ones. This is the one I've been using recently. It's actually my sister's, Karina. Sister, I stole your pencil because you always steal my makeup. So I'm going to take a quick little break and finish this up. I feel like when it comes to cleaning my brows, I need to just shut up, not talk because I will mess this up. So cheese man will start right after this. I'm sorry. Let's just pause this real quick. For today's eyes, I'm gonna use the Dream Palette by Beauty Bird. I don't know like what kind of look I'm doing yet. I just know I wanna do something dramatic. I've actually recently been doing my makeup in the car. Anywhere I go, I'll do my brows and wherever I head out, I'll just do it on the way over there. I've been in LA a lot recently and it's like a drive from here. So I always take my little makeup bag and this is literally all the makeup that I use. This is all I need. And I also take Jasmine's palette and boom. Like I will literally do my whole face in the car and I feel like I literally have become a pro. So it's actually kind of weird sitting down in my makeup room to do my makeup because I'm always doing it in the car. Is that like weird? Let's go in with this brown right here. So let's begin with my story time. I got lip fillers, okay? So before y'all even drag me because some people are against all of that and let me just say right now, you could do whatever you want. It is nobody's business. I did it for me and that is it. A lot of people think that one once you do something it's like you're a whole different person what you do to yourself doesn't change who you are you know what I mean so yeah I got my lips done I always have had big lips you guys okay that's not even something I was insecure about because I knew growing up I just had big lips but lip fillers were like starting to become a thing and I was like oh my god they look so good here's the thing with me and I got it from my dad my dad has like really big lips but we have like a big mouth as well I don't know if you noticed like legit like my mouth is like pretty big <laughs> my bottom lip has always been a lot bigger than my top lip i started looking into like lip injections and i was like oh okay like maybe i could like add filler on my top lip and even it out for me i think lip fillers obviously it's something huge that you're doing to like enhance your features if you guys do not know lip fillers do not stay there permanently let's take this like warm brown i feel like my brushes are a little dirty right now like when aren't they though and i never really cared about it till i heard about filler i was like ooh, like if i could enhance this that'd be amazing so if i'm not mistaken real self contacted me and they just basically told me like if i wanted to get some kind of like filler done, something minor so i can do like a video about it since it was kind of for a video i didn't feel comfortable like i, I kind of just saw it as like it's not something that i'm actually looking into to myself I didn't want to feel like it was forced and I wasn't ready so anyways like a year later I decided to go to someone that my mom had gone to and I'm not gonna mention who they are just because I'm not like that type of person where I'm gonna like make someone look terrible and like put them on blast I didn't know what to expect I knew that even like lip fillers as simple as they sound they still have to heal and it's a whole different process, but I didn't expect to go through what I went through <gasps> at all. I kind of want to go in with this green right here. Ooh. So the day came, guys. My mom was going to get her lips done, and I was like, you know what? This guy has done her fillers. We kind of know that he's going to do good, right? But like an idiot, I mean, you would think like he has not touched her lips. He's only done her Botox. 
why would I trust him? I haven't seen this person's like lip work, but I still trusted this person that they were gonna do a great job. So yeah, I'm already shitting it. I'm already like, oh my God, is this gonna hurt? Like I'm afraid of needles. I don't even wanna see the needle. Just inject me now, let's get it over with. I obviously only asked for them to do my top lip because my bottom lip, I honestly don't think I would get it filled. It's pointless to me. I feel like I would look like too crazy. So I was like, let's just do my top lip. Let's kind of even it out. I didn't want my top lip to be the same size as my, my bottom lip, but I was like, I definitely want it bigger. So right after my mom is done, I get called in and I'm just there shaking. So I'm not sure exactly what this person used, but I know like a lot of videos that I've seen, you know, they inject you like a lot of times and trying to like mold it right and stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm literally like cringing just thinking about this moment. I was not numbed. Let's actually clear that out. I know numbing can sometimes swell you, so it kind of confuses the person that's giving you the injections. So it's better actually to not do it with any numbing cream. So I went full raw. I was like, okay, let's just do this. Like I got this. Basically, instead of doing what people usually would do, I know this is also a thing. I'm not saying it's not. He uses like a really long needle and like just does one full injection. So he goes, on this side and he like injects it and i'm like ah so he basically filled the whole thing with like one needle right and then i was like okay that wasn't bad so we get to this side right this is the side where it's like a full nightmare and i'm ready to like faint you know what i forgot while he's like injecting though i have like this ice pack on my lip and like they let go and then boom i guess it's like a way to numb my lip a little bit it still did not work but you know while he's injecting on my right side i feel like the strongest like sting ever i think he hit like a nerve is that what it is or like a vein i don't know so i just remember feeling like a really strong sting so as soon as he like injected i screamed so he's like trying to take it out but as he takes out he's like injecting it my theory is he pulls in right here as soon as i scream he tries taking out but Halfway right here, he starts injecting. But get this, I don't know where he injected it. I don't know if he injected it too deep, but right after that, I feel like this ball under my lip, I feel like the injection was somewhere up here, like inside. So weird, right? Within minutes, my lips are literally already like swelling, but I didn't think anything about it. I was like, you know what, this is normal. And I remember walking out and thinking like, wow, I finally did this, you know, like I finally got my lips done. Like I went through the worst already. So I thought, <gasps> I'm gonna go ahead and take these lashes. These are in the style Batty by Batty B Lashes. It's crazy because we decide to go to like a restaurant after, like why would we do that? So we go eat and I'm already so embarrassed because I know my lip is already purple. My lip is sw swelling by the minute so we're on our way home and tell me why i'm like looking at myself in the car and i'm just freaking out that's when i started to realize things were going wrong i'm like telling my mom like why are your lips not like this like your lips came out so good so as soon as i get home i'm so embarrassed because my dad's like kind of person that will be like you don't need that so i knew when i got home and my dad looked at me he would he was gonna cringe, you know? Right when I walk in the kitchen, my dad's like looking at me like, what the hell happened to you? I'm telling him like, no, this is normal. Like it's swelling. Trying to like make excuses because I was freaking out, but just to stay positive, I was like, this is normal. I kept Googling how like normal was the swelling. I feel like I just wanted to clarify to everybody that saw me. I was like, I didn't get them this big. I did not get them this big. They're just really swollen. I made sure that he did it as natural as possible because I didn't want it to look crazy. And he was like, this is what you get for trying to do that. Like your lips were just fine. So the first night I'm just like, you know what? I'm actually using this like Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. It's really cool, it's like mousse. So I get to my room, I like fall asleep because I'm already like low key getting depressed and my man comes home from work and I'm knocked out at this point. I feel like Brian's like very, um, he knew that something was wrong with my lips, but he was almost calm about it. Like, I guess he didn't want to freak me out, but I was trying to explain to him, I'm like, I don't think this is normal. I haven't seen anybody swell like this. This is way too much. And he's like, just put some Arnica gel, like go to sleep. And I was like looking at my remedies and I was just at this point trying to figure out, do I have an infection? I really thought I was gonna wake up to my lips being less swollen. They were so huge. I had like a bruised mustache that just created on the top right of my lip. And at that moment I was like, 
I got botched. I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Santa Fe. I'm trying to stay so calm though, like I'm eternally freaking out, but I'm just like, I'm gonna have to deal with it and wait till it goes down. I do call though and I tell them about my lip and they're like that's normal you're gonna get swelling they just told me just wait it out it will go down it was about like a week already and i knew i had to post on my channel vlog and stuff so i was like okay i'm just going to kind of just go back to my you know regular life because i literally was stuck at home for days and I decided to post like my first video. And at this time, like my lips had gone down drastically. So not a lot of people noticed, but there were a few comments like, did you get your lips done? Because my lips obviously looked fuller. But I always noticed that I had this like lump on the right side of my lip. Like there was like a little ball right here. So within the third week, I actually called them back and I'm like, hi, I noticed the right side of my top lip has a bump and I want to know if you guys can dissolve it a little bit so my lips could look even and they're like that is completely normal your lips have not settled yet it's gonna take a lot longer than that but then I'm like googling other things and they're telling me within the third week that's kind of when you kind of see your final results I still kind of like listen and I'm like okay I'll wait it out and then it's about already a month that I've gotten them done and it's, I still have that really huge lump. So I go back and he's looking at me. He's already mad that I went back. He's just like looking at me like, you're fine. You shouldn't have come back. I told you that you're gonna heal. Giving me attitude. I'm there standing and he's looking at my lips and I'm trying to explain to him like, look, when I like talk, the lump is like, oh, like really big. Like obviously if I'm like this, you're not gonna see the lumps because you're not seeing my lips move around and he's like i want you to stay calm don't move your mouth and i'm like no i'm trying to explain to him I'm like look look when i talk like it does this he's like stop moving i'm like i'm like what the fuck? like i'm coming in here because i'm telling you my fucking lip is deformed and clearly when i talk there's a huge fucking lump if i'm like this it's not gonna show i knew then i was like this like is not gonna fix my lip and he's like looking he's like there's nothing so I'm like no like when I smile when I talk it's just a huge ball and he's like no 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 you're fine and I was like no like I really want to get this dissolved you may not see it but I see it and it's actually bugging me he basically is like look I could fill around it and make it even but I'm not gonna dissolve it because if I dissolve it, you're gonna have one side bigger than the other. He's like, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just to make you happy. I was like, and at this point I was like, you know what? This is a learning experience. I'm never going to go back again, ever. So I never went back. I'm using the RCMA no color powder. So I let the lips heal. So a couple months, literally, I would say two months exact passed by. I noticed a lump is still there and people are noticing. I'm noticing when I'm editing my videos, like there's a lump on my lip. So after the two months, I was like, that's it. I'm going to somebody that could possibly fix them so i decide to go to flawless laser center and this is like a really popular place that a lot of influencers go to and i basically tell them my experience and they're like i think you should get them dissolved by this same person and then come back here and we'll start fresh and i'm like oh my god i have to go back to this person i don't even want to see this person again so i tell them like my experience i'm like just dissolve the smallest amount you can it's fine like i don't want to go back to this person it's been a horrible experience. So they're like, okay, that's fine. And they're like, next time you kind of have to dissolve your whole lips because at this point they're kind of already screwed up. And that's something that I actually need to do. And that's why obviously I'm doing this story time because I know sooner or later I have to dissolve my entire top lip because I'm just like so over, over this. And I have heard that dissolving your lips hurts so much. And I think that's why I was avoiding it. They dissolve that little area. And I believe I actually ended up going back I think a couple weeks later and they filled in the top lip a little more it was still bumpy so I just wanted them to even it out so they ended up evening it out more I'm gonna take the Too Faced bronzer y'all I'm living for this look it's like soft eyes but still dramatic I feel like I always want to apply a really dark brown here but I'm living for it like this I think it looks really soft and nice so after this time that I go to flawless laser center they leave my lips a lot better my top lip is definitely a lot bigger and I'm like holy crap but it does settle down eventually and it looks good Ever since then, I have not filled in my lips again. It's literally gonna be a year. And my lips, I still have filler. And I noticed because like, I have that ball still. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I have to do a certain phase 
for you to see the lump like even when I talk sometimes you could see the lump a little bit but I for sure still have lip filler on my lip but my plan now is I actually have to go and fully get it completely dissolved it's just not something that's gonna look good I have convinced myself I have to fully get my lips dissolved it was definitely a nightmare. I think for anybody that is gonna get their, you know, lips done or any kind of filler, you have to make sure you look at their work. My idiot ass did not look at lip work. I assume like he does Botox, he's gonna do the lips good, you know? But that's not how it works. Some people are better at other things and he probably wasn't somebody that was good at lips. It was just definitely a learning experience for me. It's crazy how I never talked about it. I always wanted to talk about it, but. I, somehow some way new people were gonna be like this is why you don't do that I just feel like I definitely got botched and here's another thing that I literally started to notice so anytime that I talk I notice I talk a lot like sometimes when I'm talking like I talk a lot with like my left side of my lip and I'm like, oh. like I could be talking like hey girl blah, blah, blah. and I'm like why is my left side moving more I started to look at my older videos and I didn't realize that I've always talked more with my left side which is so weird but at first I thought like oh my god he ruined like my nerve completely like I can't even move my lip but if you actually do go to my older videos I legit talk a lot more on this side so it's just weird but I, I feel like I want you guys to see the ball better like you could see it from under you see that like when I do this like the little part right there <gasps> you could see it oh uh, I don't know I definitely think I got botched it was definitely one hell of an experience that I will never forget I was so freaked out I was at home for over a week without going out it was just terrible just the process I think I went like four times to try to get my top lip fixed and it's still not right it bugs me so much so that's the answer for you guys because I know people probably see that lump I'm just saying like if you want to get your lips done or anything done you have to make sure you look at their work you know you can't just go to anybody and there are people out there like that clearly like me a lot of influencers will go to a certain spot and they'll like hype it up and they make you want to go there but I noticed a lot of these places you know they'll have one specific nurse doing these influencers and that's why it's like their lips look so good but what y'all don't know is when you go to these places there's a bunch of different people doing lip fillers so you don't know who you're gonna get you don't know who's gonna mess up your lips like me so you just have to be careful you know like where you go and from now on I'm definitely gonna have to really uh, do my research and see where I'm gonna go to try to get this fixed. By the way, today is Chubb's birthday. If you guys follow me on my vlog channel, you guys know I have a nephew and today he turns one. I'm so excited. I literally can't believe it. I wanna cry. His bautizo is this weekend. It's about to be lit. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm emotional today because he turned one and I'm like, he's not a baby anymore. Like even though he's a baby, he's just not like, it's just weird. I'm gonna use this lip liner by Sephora and this, is in the shade the nudist okay i'm gonna overline my lip a little bit because i do think my lips are kind of uh fading already because it's been a while i'm not a fan of lip liners that are too nude so i'm gonna go in with this darker one this is a mac lip pencil and mahogany i feel like it's a little more red but i'm just gonna try to add a little bit more definition i want to take this tart lipstick in the color five o'clock it looks like a, a little dark dark nude Ooh, yes Let's go in with Burnt Spice. This is a MAC liquid lipstick. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I like this one. Okay, y'all. I think we're done with this look. I really like it. It's like soft, but glam. I feel like my brows look really intense, but you know what? Like, whatever. So I'm going to just spray my face. Oh, yes. All right, y'all. So I'm pretty much already ready. I'm living for this look. It's like soft, but it's like still glam. Okay. Hmm. What do you guys think? Let a girl know in the comments. But yeah, y'all, that is a story when I got botched. I knew that I wanted to share this, but I didn't know when. And I actually want to go get them dissolved really soon. So I'm like, I might as well just do it now and tell them. It was just absolutely terrible. And it was literally a nightmare. I have never till this day seen somebody with the lips that I had. So moral of the story is be careful where you go. And even like the Flawless Laser Center, I know a lot of people go to them as well. But not everybody will do them the same. Everybody has their own techniques. Just be careful where you go, who does your lips, because they could really botch you. And I definitely think that's what happened to me. And even though they do dissolve, you know, it is something 
like not as simple as you think. My healing process was just definitely way too extra and I just cannot believe how terrible it was. Like, oh my God, I'm literally just cringing thinking about how big my lip was. Like, I just remember FaceTiming my friend Elizabeth and her just being like shocked. But yeah, you guys, that was my story time when I got botched. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you make better choices. But yeah, y'all, that was basically it. I'm actually living for this look. It's like very festive as well. I feel like for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, this is actually a really cute look. It's really soft, but still really glam. Before I head out, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is Myra Touch of Glam, as well as my other social medias that will be linked down below. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.